So I've got my Raspberry Pi running here and the problem is is that I installed this with the 32 gig SD card and I'm going to upgrade this to 128 gigabytes. And so I'm going to show you how you can quickly clone the old drive onto the new SD card right from the Raspberry Pi. So as you can see here, I've got a little SD card reader and I plugged in my new 128 gig right here into the slot. And so let's go to the GUI and I'll show you how to do this. I have logged in to Astroberry and I'm using a remote desktop. What I want to do is copy the existing SD card to a new higher capacity drive. So if you go in here and go to accessories and SD card copier. All right. Now, the from device, you have to be pretty careful here. Um, I have two of them that are named kind of funky. They don't really say the actual name, but if you notice here, it says LX32 gig. So that is the existing one. And I've used a USB adapter for my 128 gig right here. And then just simply press start, and that will start the copying process to clone my existing operating system. Say yes to accept that it'll overwrite because it will overwrite everything on the new SD card. And we'll just let that go and then I'll pause the video and then I'll show you what's next. Now it's already done and it just took a few minutes so we'll say OK and close this out. And then I'm just going to power off my Raspberry Pi and then we'll put the new one in. All right, now I've removed the old SD card and then take this out and I believe it goes in upside down. All right, I'll plug that in, turn my power back on. All right, let's log in and take a look. We'll open up a browser window here. And now you can see that I've got 99 gigabytes free and that's just what I needed. Uh, the reason I need the extra space is because I want to download all of the files needed for offline plate solving because I don't want to be connected to the internet and so that my mount can slew to a target, plate solve, and then make the corrections and then go to exactly where I want it to go. And now the next step is simply downloading all the files and I'll have plenty of room and then my telescope will be good to go.